Here it says record, top left, it's yes. recording, to pause it. Yeah, go on. Yeah, but I yeah. think we should anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's so same record, top left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's your vent for your gas on your, your boiler and heater. Okay, don't cover that up, obviously. Mm -hmm. It will it will shut off if you realise it's blocked anyway, but obviously that's a vent to keep clear. This opening here, this is for an external shower. Okay, it's for washing all your dirty boots or yeah. dirty kids or dogs or whatever you want to. <laughs> yes. Okay, it does work off the cold side of the, of the water system, so you haven't got warm water on it. So do you have to attach something there is, to that? Yeah, there is a, a short length of hose with an attachment, very similar to that. That right. attachment there. Okay. And obviously like a, a shower fitting with a press button. So, so that's in a caravan Yeah, somewhere. that's it, that's in your pack, yeah. Right, okay. Okay, before you plug it in, make sure you switch the water pump off, which I'll show you in a, sh in a minute. Um, obviously, it's the, press, it's, the system will still be pressurised, so if you, when you're connecting it, just press the hose end away from you just to release the pressure. Because it'll squirt. Because if you don't, it'll come up here. Right. You'll right. get a cold blast of water. It's not so bad in the summer, but in the winter it's a bit... Okay. A bit cold. Right. Here we have two inlets for the water. Okay, the bottom one, obviously you see this is connected. This is your connection here. Okay, yeah. that comes with it. Obviously, this is my, my acro. To get this in and out, to get it out, there's a little trigger there, you just pull. To get it in, it just clicks in. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a pump on the end of this, and there's also a pump on board. Okay, the pump on the end of this one is only for, only operates when you fill in the tank. So it's got an onboard tank, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you want to use the water system from an acro, or you have some pitches which have water connections straight to on the pitch, yeah. so you can more or less go direct and go direct into there. As it says, direct to tap. Yeah. Okay. So the water that goes through there will also fill your hot water tank and your cold water system. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You got all that? You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Tank. Okay. I'll just get yeah. the key. So I'll just show you that. Okay. Okay. So mm. normally you put a pink chemical in there, a small amount of pink chemical, yeah. and top of it with water. Do you we only... get some of that in the pack? I'm not sure. I, I, I never caught, never noticed. It may be there, or I might just not notice. Okay. 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 Um, the only time you know it's full is when you can see it through there. Okay. The only time you know it's empty is when you're flushing it. There's nothing coming out. Okay. <laughs> right. So there's no indication on the flush side of it. Right. Okay. The waste tank, which is this down here. Okay. To get it out, lift that orange handle there. So it should slide out easily. If it's not sliding out easy, maybe the waste gate is still open inside. Right. Okay, so make sure that is shut. If you're trying to pull it out, don't try and force it out because it may damage it. Okay. That is a, obviously handle and the oh, wheels right. for pulling it. All right. Okay. Before you use it, you need to put a, a certain amount of blue chemical in and water. Okay, it does say on the actual containers how much blue chemical you need to put in. Mm -hmm. Which you put, put through there. Ty's got a measuring cup. All right. So okay. blue in the bottom, pink in the top. That's it, yeah. All right. Okay, so obviously putting the blue in and also for emptying is out through that there as well. Obviously, on site you'll see normally the chemical toilet emptying sites or points usually a big funnel with a big hole in the middle of it. Okay, and normally got a brick wall around it. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't put that on top of the brick wall because you imagine <laughs> you're going to knock that down. It'll yeah. warden's not going to be happy because you, you just block. Moment, I'll press any button; it'll it'll light up. Okay, to switch to switch it on yeah. or off is the power button. Is that one there? So that switch it everything off on the 12 volt system. If you look at the microwave, that's still on. Look. Yes. Okay, because that's on the 240 side. This is just 12 volts. Right. Okay, so that switched everything on, on the 12 volt side. So once your electric's plugged in outside, you just come in yeah, and press that button. Press that button. Yeah. Well, it, this is for the, the leisure battery side of it. Oh, okay. So, if you saw, saw the, uh, as soon as you plug your 240 in, obviously that's okay. on a separate system that right. powers everything else as well. Yeah. But obviously, it runs on 240. Okay, you've got water pump. That's, that's to switch water pump on and off. That's just to fill your tank. Press the view levels, it shows you what your ledger battery is doing. So that's showing 14 volts because it's going through, through the charger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fresh water tank is empty. 240 connected, ledger battery is connected. If your car was connected, it would also show you what your vehicle battery was, was doing as well. Right. Okay. So, so the right hand side wants the vehicle battery. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the first things we normally do when we get, get into the van is... Are you recording you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. No. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah. Okay, so one on the right, that's for your fresh water tank. The one on the left, that's for the rest of your water system and your hot water tank. Okay, and then there's also a little white control there as well, which goes between either using your acroll, which is outside. So we see it's pointing towards the acroll. Yes. And if it's pointing down, 
that's using your onboard tank or filling your onboard tank. There is an info note here to tell you what which position they need to be in. Okay? Yeah. Well, that's a lot to take in. It's all right. I'm with it. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. So to get the water in now, what we look before again before we switch the water pump switch on, we need to make sure all the taps are shut. You don't want any tap open. As soon as you press that button, water pump on, mm. and the tap's open, you're going to get water coming out. Or it will be air to start with, because if you've drained all the system before, it will be all, all air in the system. Right. So what we need to do now is get, get the air out of the system. So we need to switch So do you have to do this every time? Yes. You have to make that water tank sitting in that, that corner there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do, do that with all the taps, make sure you get all the air out of the system because it works on a pressurised system. So as soon as you open the tap, the pump comes on. Yeah. If there's air in the system, obviously that takes that's easier to compress or less easier, yeah, easier to compress. <laughs> if the water obviously feels the pressure, it'll shut off straight away. Mm -hmm. With air it'll just it'll keep the pump will keep going on until it's compressed the air. So the pump can keep running if you don't get all the air out of the system. Okay? Yeah. So once you got the right, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. you want to put your finger under that this warm. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously it's not in this is heating system and your hot water system. Okay? Water. okay. That's the on-off button there. Okay. What's showing on the screen at the moment is a as a plug, so that's saying the 240 is connected. Okay. The next line is showing what the room temperature is doing. Okay. okay. I didn't switch off then, did it? No, it's running. Yeah, that's okay. Well I'll, I'll just increase the temperature of the room. I'm gonna show you the circulation pump. Okay, so that it there is a circulation pump for the central heating. Okay. okay, so when that's when you can see that, that means it is moving the uh, heating around your room. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If if that plug is not there on your consumer unit, which I showed you through that side locker, is the, these two buttons here. Okay. So if you want to decrease the temperature or increase, you just press the plus one or minus. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can't literally switch the heating system on. If you've got the water heating running, you can't literally switch the heating off. All you do is just bring the temperature of what, what you want it to be below the room temperature. Okay? Mm -hmm. So obviously if it's, if it's 23 degrees and you've got it set at 22, obviously it switch, it, all it does is switch the circulation pump off and the heating's not being moved yeah. around your, your van. Okay. Okay. I'll just bring that back up to temperature, a little bit higher temperature. All right. right. Seems to be at the moment, yes? Yeah, I'm going to go over so. Oh, you're yeah. off, please. Yeah. All right. But I'll be, I'll be knocking at your door. Yeah, you know. <laughs> 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 Cheers, mate. Okay. The next one along is your water heating. That's water heating off. You can see the, the triangle there is empty. Yes. And that is blue. If I press that, that's water heating on. The button's gone green. You've got half a triangle coloured in. Don't ask me why it's got only half a triangle coloured in, but that's how it works. Okay. If I want to boost the water heating, okay, if I want to give it more heat for the mm -hmm. water, I can do that by pressing that button again. Okay, the full triangle is now coloured in. Mm -hmm. What that's now doing is concentrating all the heating on the hot water. Okay. What that also does is switch the heating off. Okay. So what that does, it will concentrate the heating on the hot water either till you switch it off or until after around about 30 minutes and it switches itself off and then it will allow the heating to come back on again. Right. Okay. There you go. Just saw that come back on then. Okay. So that, that's just to get the water heating up and running a bit quicker if you wanted to. Yeah. It can get quite confusing but I'll just go over the, the different icons that are there. So to go to further menus on timers, press the little spanner in the corner. Obviously to use any of any of the timers you obviously need to set the clock, which is that top left one there. You can have a reduced temperature timer, so especially that's why it's got a moon for especially for mm. night time. So if you want a, a timer that sets the room temperature a bit cooler at night, if you wanted to do that. There's a seven day timer, which is that one. A 24 hour timer. So if, if you got it on site and you say, right, I'm coming back next I'm coming back to the van on Friday, yeah. you can actually set it say an hour before or whatever before. So it'll come on before you get there. And obviously be warmed up, right. ready to go. It will run for 20.